review the Matrix Resurrections. Last year I reviewed uh, um, the, the Matrix Trilogy. So now I'm going to review Matrix 4. Now I didn't see this movie till summer because I, I thought about seeing this movie in theaters but I wanted to go see Spider-Man. And I thought if I couldn't see Spider-Man No Way Home I could have just saw Matrix 4. And uh, this came out Christmas last year. That's crazy. And this movie, I thought it would really get a lot of love because the trailer looked really awesome. But no, the movie got really, the movie kind of tanked. Now, that's not to say I didn't hate the movie. Now, I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So, uh, this takes place, I honestly don't know. It's like, I guess modern day since it takes place in a world where Neo is just a, it's a graphic designer or something, or a game designer. And it looks like he's making a game called The Matrix. And he feels something is off. Like, he feels like his life could be more. He feels like he had this other world. And he's seeing this therapist. And played by Neil Patrick Harris. I was a bit surprised by his performance in this movie. And he's just like, as the trailer suggests, Neo's just like, I'm having dreams of The Matrix. Am I crazy? And then... And they go, we don't use that word in here. And so Neo's trying to discover his true self while also meeting a few people on the way. And it looks like there's a new Morbius played by Yaya Ha the Third. I don't know how to say his name, it's quite long. Um, okay, so I'm going to reveal spoilers in this video. Um, okay, so this is a new Morbius. Um, if you don't know, the Morbius played by Lawrence Fishburne. I love Lawrence Fishburne as the Morbius. He's amazing. Yaha the third is uh he's alright as Morbius. I definitely sense an, a younger Morbius. But I don't know, I just was wondering why I didn't have Lawrence Fishburne and I found out that it's because years ago, um, in a video game, Morbius died in it and he was shot in in the in the Matrix online game, apparently. I was taken aback by it, because, like, why would you kill one of the main characters in the Matrix? Like, I was I was shocked. And even I think even Lawrence Fishburne doesn't even know why he wasn't in the movie. So, I, I wish Lawrence Fishburne was in the movie. Not the bash at Yaha the Third. It's just, I don't know. I think you get my point. And so, I guess Neo has to go find his way back into the Matrix. And he also meets Trinity, who's alive. As you know, Trinity died in the last movie. Um, so did Neo. As we saw Neo get dragged away. We don't know what happened to Neo. It just left things unresolved. But it looks like this movie answers that question. So, here's a spoiler. It's revealed that the therapist has actually created a virtual world for Neo, and where his life's kind of like how he started in the first Matrix, where he's just living his everyday life, and he used uh, these rope, the the Matrix Sentinels, I'm pretty sure they're called, to uh, bring them back and restore their bodies, and have their minds wiped, and they took them to, I guess, this other world, and so I guess it's up to Neo, and then. He tries to get Trinity's memories back, but she ends up tagging along with Neo anyway. And there's we even see Neo like has like a bunch of visions of him jumping off a building, and it looks like he's gonna commit suicide. But he's really just trying to fly or something, because as you know, Neo can fly. And it looks like the analyst. That's what he's called, the therapist. He's called the analyst. And there's a bunch of fights in this. I was honestly disappointed by the fights because, like, the best part of the Matrix is, uh, the fight scenes. Like, Neo versus those agents, Neo versus Smith, Neo versus Morbius in the Kung Fu, I know, Kung Fu scene. We even get a sort of Kung Fu scene in this where Neo fights with, uh, the new Morbius. And, uh, I, they end, like, Morbius is wearing a dojo robe and Neo's just wearing whatever. And they end up, I do like some, the music was cool, I guess. And uh, the song Chasing Rabbits is a good song. It fits well for this, the trailer and this movie. And I just was disappointed by the fights. Like, it, it could have been more exciting. Like, I love The Matrix for their fight scenes. And, um, 
here's another character who's also a villain in this. It's Agent Smith, and he's not played by Hugo Weaving. I don't know who he's played by in this movie, I forget. Some It was some younger actor. I wish Hugo Weaving was in this. Like, I love Hugo Weaving. Like, he's really good as Vendetta from V for Vendetta. He's good in Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And he's really good as Agent Smith. And, but in this, it's like a completely different Agent Smith. And even when Neo gets like these flashbacks, he's just like, oh, wait, no. He gets like these illusions, basically, where, where uh, Smith is just like Mr. Anderson. And then, and then it flashes back to normal. That that stuff was kind of creative. Yeah. I think this movie kind of did disappoint me in a way. I think it's a lot better than Matrix Free. I did rewatch Matrix Free last year. And I thought it was a fine movie. Like, it was, like I said in my review. Like, I don't hate the Matrix movies. I just thought the first one was great. The other two were fine. And then this one's also fine. If they want to do more Matrix movies, but go ahead. I just feel bad that this movie didn't do as well, because I, like I said, I was super excited for this movie, because I love Keanu Reeves, I think he's a good, he's a nice man in real life, and to see him play this role again is really nice, even though he kind of just looks like John Wick in this movie, even though I haven't seen those movies either, it's just The Matrix, I'm more known for Keanu Reeves, so, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say about The Matrix 4. I definitely hyped it on my channel about the Matrix 4, as you saw a year ago. So how would I rate this movie? Uh, probably a 6 out of 10. I don't think it was the worst. I think this movie is very underappreciated. So uh, this is my last review for uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to talk about the new releases. Like every other year, I review every movie I saw 2022. And like last year, I reviewed every movie I saw 2021. So, I can't wait to talk about those movies. So, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.